My clients both work from home and they have a daughter that lives at home with them who's in university. And they called me because they were tired of their space. It was like a 180 from what you see here. The kitchen was at the front of the house. I always joked with them a little bit because they didn't have a full fridge in their kitchen. The dining room was where the living room was. The living room was where the dining room was. It kind of felt to me like pieces were accumulated over time, but they didn't actually quite work together. A lot of things were halfway there and not quite the way that they should have been. So when you first walk in through the front door, we have a nice big open foyer area where we put in a bench for seating to put your shoes on. And then off of that, we created a little desk space for Sophia to sit and organize mail or look at her iPad. One of the things that was really important to them was to have a nice big kitchen where they could entertain and feel house proud. We created this beautiful L-shaped kitchen with a really long 12-foot island with lots of seating and beautiful Washington pendants over top that incorporate that gold and the glass. Because we have such beautiful windows that frame the view in the backyard, and we didn't want to overkill it with backsplash everywhere, so what we did was underneath our hood, over top of the stove, we had a beautiful custom design, white, black and gold marble backsplash created for that area. We wanted to draw your eye into the home and up. So the beams were a no-brainer for us. Both of my clients jumped right on board with the idea of the beams to incorporate that old with the new. I also didn't want the renovation at the end of the day to feel so spick and span brand new. I wanted to have a little bit of a personality and more conversation pieces. They did have a wood-burning fireplace facing the back of the house. So we still utilize that space, only we put in a gas insert, which is three-sided, so we can see it from the family room and experience it from everywhere within the main floor of the space. Right off of the kitchen, we have the dining room now, which is close to the backyard, so we can open up the window wall and go right outside. And then from there, you can lead into the living room. We wanted to have more linen style textures in the space, so the couch is more of a linen texture and it has a tufted back, but a nice clean seat. And then the black chairs that we had, the cushions upholstered to kind of match and tie in with the rest of the space. Aside from this chair that we had recovered and redone, we actually also did their armoire. So their armoire was the old 80s yellow. That's it, like if I just say 80s yellow, everybody's like, oh yeah, I know that color. And so we had it repainted in white and gave it a little bit more of that shabby chic feeling and then had that put back into the dining room, which really tied everything together. The powder room always was in its original location. We were able to create this beautiful long vanity with a gorgeous white sink, again, carrying a whole theme of the black and the white and the natural wood tones and the gold all into the bathroom as well. So the wall sconces have that hit of gold. We have just a little shelf for storage, nothing too over the top, and it's just a beautiful, nice, clean space. My clients are so happy. She tells me all the time how happy they are and how lucky they feel to live here, which honestly, as a designer, is like, means more. Like, it's worth, worth its weight in gold. Thank you.